Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, which is Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father, Yahawa, in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, as you saw it, all right, in the video, you know, which brothers already see, you know, this video amongst Israel going viral. And this is proof, okay? And it should bring fear and dread upon you for that the Lord have an army in the heavens. Okay, Yahweh, which is the Father, Yahweh Shai, which is the Son, who everybody ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. Well, the Heavenly Father has his army as well. And what you're seeing, all right, is one of his angels that ride in the chariots in the heavens, in which today they call UFOs. We call them IFOs, identifying flying objects. And uh, just this year, as you should know, the government you know, just the click, you know, just announced that, yeah, there are so called unidentified flying objects flying in the skies. You know, and it's undeniable because they're being seen across the world. They're being seen across the world, man. All right. And um, what you're seeing in this vid video, uh, a brother, he put title Iranian military versus chariot. They was trying to shoot the chariot down. And as I stopped it right there, that's the spirit. All praise Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you can see it, you know, um, what you call it, uh, let, well, and I wouldn't say dematerializing, but materializing, you know, making itself bigger, making itself smaller, you know, and you can see it kind of like, a, almost like a butterfly right there, you know? It's proven that you elites, you know, the Rothschilds, the banking families, the international banking families, the U.S. Army, the Russia's Army, the China's Army. When the Most High, Yahweh, send forth his army, what you going to do? There's nothing you can do. And um, quick precept. Quick precept. This is Zechariah chapter 5 and 1. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And, and he said unto me, what seest thou? So like it. And he says unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breed thereof is 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that go across the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on, on this side according to it, and everyone that swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, say of the Lord of hosts, which the Lord of hosts represents the Lord of armies, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, who is the thief, that's Esau, and into the house of, and into, excuse me, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. That's Esau. All right? Because the name of the Lord is not Jesus Christ. Okay? America is not uh, 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 God-fearing. Okay? They make mockery of the Most High. Okay? It says, And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Okay? So I'm going to play the video once again.
Yes, we are back and haven't been back since last week. A lot of shit has been going on, but I'm back Monday afternoon. I'm going to do a double show today, one today and one tonight with a face-off with a car. Right, I'm back. Uh, phone, you know, sake messing with the phone. But um, I had just once did, uh, you know, I have speaking and um, didn't capture, you know, what I was speaking about in the second half of this video. So I'm gonna continue with my next scripture, uh, which was Second Edges 13 and one, and it shall come to pass after seven days. I dreamed the dream by night. All right, so this is Edges having a vision. From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It says, And lo, there rose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, the man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he had turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. All right, because what did he wax strong with? The chariots. Okay, the angels of the Most High, in which today the world called UFOs, man. They are the chariots of Yahweh. Okay, so I'm gonna read that again. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen unto him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all that all they that burned, excuse me, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire. Okay, because that, that explains, okay, what you call today a concentrated fire, okay, which uh, which um, people call laser beams, you know, just like, sort of like um, the movie World World of Wars, okay, when he was shooting out, uh, lately shooting out a concentrated fire and turning people into um, to, to a vapor of dust, you know. Now, verse 5. It says, and after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place whereof, whereout the hill was graven, and I could not, because this is depicting, depicting, okay, what he saw was a chariot, a real great big chariot, in which we call brothers, we call it the fathership, sort of like the movie Independence Day. And I'm gonna say this again, man, you know, all these different movies that that have, uh, uh, you know, put movies together as far as dealing with chariots and so-called aliens, they was inspired by the scriptures. Independence Day, the director, the, 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 the movie writer, they were inspired by these scriptures. And Independence Day, it clearly, you can clearly see by watching that movie, I'll say the first one, because the second one was ass, but the first one, it, that, that, they was clearly inspired by this chapter that I'm reading, Second Edges, the 13th chapter. Because it's so many of this, uh, uh, it's, so, it, it's, it's a couple of scenes in that video that go right to this chapter. So I'm gonna continue to read. This is 2nd Edges 13 and 8. It says, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which have gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet durst fight. And this is also the war, okay, of Armageddon, the Third World War. You know, which we which we've been prophesizing about and telling you that the Lord is gonna intervene in that war. Okay. It says verse 9. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up hand nor held sword for any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he had cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one 
so that upon a sudden of an unnumberable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. Even Edris was afraid when he saw this, this, this sight, this vision, because a lot of people died, man. Okay, hey, the Lord is going to destroy you armies that's upon the earth today, starting with Babylon the Great, America. Okay, these Russians, these Chinese, the Iranians, all of the armies, man. Okay, the Lord is coming back. And as you can see it in the video, you know, that kills the, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, talk about Area 51 and the government have UFO ships and they're harvesting them. They chipping away. They, they learned the technology of the aliens. They can't even capture the spirit. They can't even capture it. And let me hit you with another thing. The Lord is a spirit first before material, okay? What you see in there is spirit. Esau could never, never learn the technology or replicate, okay? Let's say, well, he probably could replicate it to his, his, his technology, but it would never be nothing in a comparison or so quite, you know, the scale of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's uh, uh, chariots, man, where his angels ride in. The Lord is spirit before material. And this is why they can't hit it. They can't shoot it down. You know, so I'm not going to leave this lesson too long. I hope this lesson was edifying. I had a lot of interference. I was driving at the same time doing the show. Uh, you know, neither here nor there. Lord willing, I hope you guys were edified. So with that, I'm going to play this. Uh, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's will for elect. Shalom.